Welcome to Grade 5 Science Class. Today, we're going to discuss the biotic factors in intertidal zones and estuarine ecosystem. The estuarine ecosystem. The biotic factors in the estuarine ecosystem are consist of plants, animals, and microorganisms. Take a look at the picture. These organisms live in different habitats in the intertidal zone and estuaries. Habitats in estuaries. One is the salt marshes. This is filled with water during high tide and drain during low tide. This is salty because they are flooded with seawater and also they are marshy because they are filled with a decomposing plant. The organisms that found in the habitats are clams, mussels, oysters, crabs, snails, shrimps, and bloodworms. Sea grasses are plants found in this habitat. They are halophytes. Why? Because they are salt-tolerant plants. Okay, number two, the mangrove forest. The forests are filled with mangrove trees. They are adapted to the salt water and the mangrove forest protects the coast against erosions caused by the winds, waves, and tides. It also protects the coral reef and the seagrass beds from silting or this is the deposition of sand. They are also the breeding grounds for different varieties of fish and shellfish. And other organisms found in the habitats are algae, barnacles, lobsters, shrimps, oysters, and crabs. For number three, the mud flat or the tidal flat. These are the areas in the estuary where mud from the sea and river are deposited. And also, this is the area or areas for the migratory birds, sand dollars, mussels, clams, mollocks, sh shellfish, and some fish. There are also algae like sea lettuce, sea spaghetti that provide food for the herbivores that live in this area. Number four, the rocky shores. The area in estuaries wherein the solid rocks are found. The animals in these habitats are the planktons, the brittle stars, the starfish, the hermit crabs, the shore crabs, the limpets, the periwinkle, the mollusks, barnacles, shrimps, and prawns. Many organisms in the rocky shores are herbivores. So plants like algae, seaweeds, and kelp provide food. And the predators in the rock shores are fish and the migratory birds. Number five, the coral reefs. This habitat is a subtidal zone, meaning always covered with water, wherein biodiversity is rich. Biodiversity is the abundance 
of different living organisms live in this area. This is also called the shelter to thousands of fish. Corals are animals and they feed on the plankton's and also corals are sensitive that an abrupt change in water temperature can kill real animals and for the science trivia planktons are plants and animals that float along the si seasides they are also called the drifter or the wanderer there are two types of plankton, the tiny plants called the phytoplankton and the weak swimming animals called the zooplankton. Plankton plays a vital role in our marine ecosystem known as microalgae because they produce 50% of our oxygen and are a valuable source of food for shellfish and fish.